morning. Today we will celebrate the solemnity of all saints. The saints live their lives of faith, courage, and love. The saints model ways to follow the footsteps in the footsteps of Jesus. Please stand. speaking with the fourth graders just before we had our entrance procession and this is all the saints there's saints that i've heard of very john paul ii saint francis and there's saints i don't know but they are real saints and so it's a great representation of the communion of all saints and so we'll hear a little bit and see a little bit more of the fourth grade in just a moment but let's begin our all saints mass in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. the lord be with you Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. You are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Now we have the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you for which we earnestly long, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who are given power to damage land and the sea. 
Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees. And so he put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe of the children of Israel. After this, I had a vision of great multitude, which no one could count. From every nation, race, people, and tongue, they stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshipped worship God, and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might. Be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have, who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. This is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth in its fullness, the Lord and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? Who's who? One whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is in vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior, such as the race that seeks him, that seeks the face of God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yes, so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you, and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 
So when I, first graders, hold up your hands. Where's first grade? Okay, there's first grade. You can put your hands down. So when I was your age, I was living in Pendleton, Oregon, small town in Eastern Oregon. And we were living next door to the family named the Kerrs, K-E-R-R. -R. And I was a little kid, but I was really into sports. In fact, I knew what I wanted to be when I grew up. I knew I was going to play in the NFL. I knew I was going to be a quarterback because I played quarterback in our, our recess. And so I figured that's pretty much where I was going to show up. But I was a little kid. I never played real football with pads. Didn't have a helmet. But next door, one of the Kerrs played on the Pendleton High School team. He had pads. He had a helmet. And I really looked up to him. I, I, I wanted to be him. Why? I didn't even know him. But he was a football player. And so I was thinking, wow, what a great guy. I didn't know him. I don't even remember his name. But at the time, he sometimes would play with me a little bit. And so again, I thought, that's what I'm going to be. Because he's probably going to the NFL too. Then when I, we moved to Beaverton, Oregon, outside Portland. When I was in fourth grade, so actually fifth or sixth, probably. Again, I guess I was just blessed in my neighbors because next door to me lived Tom. Tom was in high school. So when you're in sixth grade, high school seems pretty big. And he played on the Beaverton High School basketball team. And sometimes I'd go to their games, and there he was in the uniform of the Beaverton Beavers. And I was thinking, what cool, how cool is that? My next door neighbor, who I play basketball with on his basket in his driveway, is on the team. I knew that I was, if I didn't play football, of course I'd be a basketball player because I was tall. And so, again, I held him up in great esteem. Tom, the ultimate goal. Now, as I grew up, that kind of disappeared. I actually never played in the NFL. But, but, I was thinking about that idea of wanting to be like somebody. Aspiring is the word. Someone, I was thinking, I want to be like that person. Now, I mentioned that because at the time, my main concern was sports, okay? And that's understandable. Probably that's the main concern for some of you. Now, and yet, today, we have the Feast of All Saints. And some of you are dressing up, fourth graders, as saints. Some of you I got wrong, some of you I didn't. I think, for instance, the people that we heard proclaim the gospel. John the Baptist, for instance, you were crying out in the wilderness. I thought you did a really good job there. Who are you dressed up at? Saints George, Saint Genevieve, Gemma. Oh, Saint Gemma's a good saint. And you look like you're dressed in black like she was. Okay, and you're John Paul II, Saint John Paul II. I got that one right, um, sort of, in the back. You're dressing up because again, there's this idea of we're offering possibilities for you to grow into. Now you might think, well, I'm not gonna be a Pope Maybe not. Or I'm not going to get stuck by arrows like St. Sebastian right over there. Hope not. Um, somebody here had a great devotion to small creatures. Right there. Is that St. Alice? Okay. I never knew that saint before. But, but you might want to be someone who loves small animals. Would you say you do? So aspiring to be close to God. That's what all saints is about. The idea that we are called to be, now when you say holy, it doesn't really make much sense. Nobody really understands what that means. What it means is you find your right place and become the person that God wants you to be, and you do the thing God wants you to do. Now, again, God didn't want me to be a quarterback. And now I'm okay with that. He wanted me to be a parish priest. And now I just have to be the best parish priest I can be for God. Some of you are going to have different calls. But, every, but part of every single call that you have, every, every life that God has picked out for every kid in this school. So he has a plan. And we pray. One of the reasons we do our five minutes a day for prayer, our tap, is so that we can find out what God wants us to be. If we get used to talking to God, eventually we get to understand, oh, he wants me to go there. He doesn't want me to do that. But he wants you to be a saint. I know that. 
I don't know whether he wants you to be a priest or a nun or, a, again, whatever. I don't know. I know he wants you to be a saint. And what that means is you're going to live, in some ways, a hard life, in some ways, the easiest life possible. The hard part is every vocation, every call, every, it's always a struggle. If, if Just, again, even in worldly terms, if I had been called to be a quarterback, you might think, well, that sounds like a pretty good do- deal, you know? You're the star of the team. Everybody looks at you. It's a lot of work, and you get beat up all the time. It's a struggle. You sacrifice. You do that if you want to be a great scientist. You have to get a PhD. It's probably going to take you 12 years of being poor. You may not even get a job at the end of it. You just kind of risk it all. And you say, I want to be a, a wife or a husband. Tell me, let me tell you, that's a hard job. To be a spouse to somebody, that's hard. It's all sacrifice. But if you go where God wants you to go and be who God wants you to be, there's a deep peace that makes life easy. Because on the one hand, on the surface, it's really hard. But deep down, it's really calm. It's kind of like the ocean in a storm. Living the life of a saint in the world, on the top, on the surface, there's waves, there's hurricanes, there's cyclones happening. There's sharks up there. Deep down, though, it's quiet. The storms don't matter to the deep ocean. Deep ocean doesn't even know. So that's why, that's why you want to be a saint, because when you're doing what God wants you to do, you'll be at peace. Your heart will be at peace, and you'll become an incredible creature. And by that, I simply mean you're going to be amazing. We have a Saint Michael here. There's a Saint Michael. Somebody may have dressed up and took on the, the costume of Saint Michael. You know what? You're going to be as amazing as an angel. You won't be an angel because you're human. But when we think of the saints today, and by the way, they're here. Every single saint that you're dressed up as, Tekakoitha, John Paul II, who else? There's Mary, there's Margaret Mary. They're all here. Whenever a Catholic Mass takes place, all the angels and saints come to the altar and surround the altar. They're invisible. You can't see them, but they're here. Heaven breaks in when... Jesus offers himself on the altar to the Father for the sake of all of us, which is what happens at Mass. And so this is filled with saints. They're watching you. And they're saying, come be like us, because we're happy. So the question for you is, who do you aspire to be? Now, you, you, you chose your costume maybe because your mom wanted you to, or it looks cool. But you really should get to know saints. You should get to know some of them. Read about them. So Because they're real. And they can interact with you. And you, need, you should be like them. Because they are now glorious and peaceful saints of heaven. That's what we're called to be. So, in just a moment, well, we're going to have the, the, the profession of faith first. And then we're going to do the prayers of the faithful. I think some, I think Terry Tekakowith is going to come and pray the prayers of the faithful. And then we're going to learn a little bit more. We're going to sing. And we're going to invoke those saints as the Fourth grade comes up here. But when we do that litany of the saints, that's what life is about. We're always calling and praying for one another. Uh, all of us here on earth or in heaven, we're connected by prayer. So let us now stand, and we're going to profess our faith. The creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, 
who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now present our prayers to our loving Father and ask his blessing on our world. For church leaders, may the Lord fill them with joy in their mission to radiate his love to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For state and local officials, may the Holy Spirit guide them in promoting the common good and respecting the dignity of every person. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who feel alone or abandoned, may the Lord be the refuge and comfort let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our hear our prayer. For all of us, for all of us gathered here, may God continue to lead us in fulfilling the call to holiness we have each received. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For you, Melin, for whom this mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, may the Lord welcome them to his eternal dwelling place in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Loving God, hear these prayers and grant them according to your holy will, we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now I invite the fourth graders to come up dressed as their saints.
graciously hear us. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother. For the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, Eusebio, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you think? Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
This is the people who longs to see your face. Oh God, this is the people that longs to see your face. Oh, the earth is yours, O oh Lord, the world and those who dwell in it. You have founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. O oh God, this is the people that longs to see your face. O oh God, this is the people that longs to see your face. Oh, can ascend your mountain, God, or who may stand in the holy place? Those whose hands are sinless, hearts are clean, and desire not the vanity of earth. Oh, God, this is the people longs to see your face. Oh, God, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive your blessing, God. The Savior shall reward them. Such is the face that seeks for you, that seeks your face, O God of Jacob. Oh God, this is the people that longs to see your face. Oh God, this is the people that longs to see your face. Blessed are they who are poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of God. Bless us, O Lord, make us poor in spirit. Bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world. May our light shine before all, that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. Blessed are they who are meek and humble, they will inherit the earth. Bless us, O Lord, make us meek and humble. Bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world. May our light shine before all, that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. Blessed are they who will mourn in sorrow, they will be comforted. Bless us, O Lord, when we share their sorrow. Bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world. May our light shine before all. That they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. Bless those who hunger and thirst for justice, they will be satisfied. Bless us, O Lord, when we pray for justice, bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world, may our light shine before all. That they may see the good that we do and give glory to God.
Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that coming to per perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to a banquet of our heavenly homeland through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. God, we praise you. God, we bless you. God, we name you sovereign Lord. Mighty King, whom angels worship, Father, by your church adored. All creation shows your glory, heaven and earth draw near your throne, singing holy, 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 Lord of gods and God alone. True apostles, faithful prophets, saints who set the world ablaze, martyrs once unknown, unheeded, join one growing song of praise. While your church on earth confesses one majestic trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit,